You're America's finest city. You're so fine. Ow. San Diego. Sunny every day. Right next to DJ. Why you so pretty? Ow. You're so dang fine. <laughs> That's right, this dude, man. He definitely what? has a love for San Diego, as you can see right there. I mean, who doesn't, really, right? Comedian, Eric Schwartz. That's my hey. man right here. Yeah. Hey. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> this is great. Look at this. We're at, we're at a world domination table. Isn't this fancy? I feel like we're about to be like, one million dollars. Yes. This it's is our so plans and our schemes. I love that. Look, the first time I saw you, we went to see Joe Coy in town. This was like a couple years ago. Yeah. And then this dude shows up. We were backstage saying, you know, because I'm cool like that. <clears throat> what? Yeah, you he were was backstage. backstage? Yeah. He, he, was. Had to, he had to Please. make sure to say and then, that. And then Eric, like, we were having a nice conversation, and it's like he was very unassuming backstage, right? Yeah. And then this dude gets on stage, and I was dying from laughter <laughs> and tears. I'm like, yeah, is people, it safe to say, like, unassuming? Yeah, people look at me, and yeah. they have a different, they're like, oh, yeah. cool, tech support. But <laughs> they don't know I rock like that. <laughs> yes, so dang fine. Ow. <laughs> That, we can't show the rest of that video because oh, it's, no, no, no. it's kind of sexy. No, no, no. Yeah, it I gets a little... Because, you know, when they say uh, that San Diego is America's finest city, mm. it's America's finest city, I thought it was like, you're fine. Fine. Oh, finest yeah, city. Oh, boy. So I'm in love with San Diego on an unhealthy yeah. level. On a... Yeah. On really? The, like, I love it. Like, um, mm. I put the french fries in the burrito. You know what I mean? Like, let me just... <laughs> That's what you got to do. Yeah, I, uh, I, I found I it interesting. I thought you, this whole time, that you were uh, born and raised in L.A., but you said, you know, you had a connection to uh, San Diego, Tierra Santa, and all that yes, stuff. Yes, yeah. I, I kind of, like, my mom lived down here. Yeah. My parents are divorced. Uh, and so my mom lived down in San Diego. And my, my dad lived in, uh, in L.A., or in Thousand Oaks. Uh, so, which is the Tierra Santa of LA. Is it? And so, <laughs> I'm from the suburbs, you know, like the, I can't, I can't front. Like yeah. T.O. did have a gang and this was Thousand Oaks, T.O. T.O. That wow. was our time out. That yeah. was our, <laughs> that was our oh, gang I didn't see the O there. That's yeah, T.O. T.O. Okay, I got uh, you. But yeah, I, I grew and but actually have, I know when I said parents divorced and yeah. people yeah. go, oh, poor no, guy. No, no. But it actually gave me a great opportunity because um, I became a quarter step Mexican. Yeah. Stand by. My, my stepfather Quarter is step Mexican. Yes. Mexican. And, ah. and then, so I, I was raised with the cultura. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And oh. I feel like I don't, I, I represent. Like, really? I, re I don't, like, half it, I, I don't step present. Like, I represent. I, I so that I, I have it. <laughs> I don't step present. I was a little he's... confused because earlier you were saying my last name and you said it, like, perfectly. Audencia. And Audencial. Audencial. Yes. Perfect. Con acento en, en la I. En la I. En la I. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. What does yeah. that mean? With the accent on the I. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And but because you're Filipino and uh, Spain had uh, yes. had a big effect yes. on Philippines. Yes. And, uh, yeah. And yeah. So I know I've been to Philippines too. Oh. Oh wow. And now when I went, I, I got to go with Joe Coy. Um, oh, how fun! It was so fun. And I got to tell you, man, the people there, they, they and made me feel very tall. <laughs> I was just reaching stuff just to be helpful. I'm valuable, you know? Um, oh my goodness. But I do love the cultura. I love, yeah. I love learning about new cultures. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also Jewish, which is, was a weird upbringing yeah. as a quarter step Mexican Jew, because like every Hanukkah we had this rule in my house that you gotta count to 10 in Hebrew before you open your present. So I would count in Hebrew, I'd be like, Echad, Shtayim, Shalosh, Arba, Chamesh, Sheish, Siete, Ocho, Nueve, Shalom, patron. You know what I mean? <laughs> Multicultural. That's very good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's confusing in a good yeah. way. Yeah. I think that's what we all need to do is come together and learn about each other. It's, the, it's the best. Yeah. And I'm telling you when, you, when you, when you go on stage, and I'm glad that you brought up IT and whatever, because, like, yeah. you know, you don't think, I mean, no offense. Like, you look at him the first time, and it's, he made the joke, IT and whatever. It's okay. I know. Half the people watching but, were like, why is NBA commissioner Adam Silver on the show <laughs> this morning? What's, I thought the season was over. Okay. Oh, okay. look into the camera give me. With the first pick of the 2000, go. With the first pick of the 2022 draft, <laughs> it's the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> That's very good. I, I look exactly that. like the Laugh Factory logo, too. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I only perform at venues where I look, they make the, like logo, the logo after my head. Listen, that <laughs> rap that you did that night on stage was the greatest thing. It's one of those things where it was just, it got better and better and better. And when it was over, you wanted more. 
How do you, I mean, I don't know if you remember it. I mean, I'm sure you do. I know what Could it you is. give me some of that? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen a comedian do on stage. Seriously, he what did like it? a rap and, oh. and he comes out and again, no offense, dude comes out and like, like people don't, ex it, don't know what to expect. And you rap. <laughs> and he like threw down on stage. I'm like, holy moly, this guy. I was raised with hip hop. I was a DJ from, from day one. I spent Man? all my bar mitzvah yes. money on DJ yes. equipment. <laughs> And so I look up to rappers and like I want to yes. do what they do. I want to get like a big sponsorship deal, like a clothing sponsorship or a drink sponsorship, but I need to go where I fit in. And so I'm going after office supplies. <laughs> <laughs> and the rather you're talking about, I did a parody of, uh, of Look At Me Now, you know yeah. that song, Chris yeah. Brown yes, and Buster yes. Rhymes. And, uh, but I did it about office supplies. It was so good. I'm oh, getting boy. paper, look at me now. Oh. I'm pressing it, easy button. Look, picking up some paper, stringing them together, now I'm putting up some memos on my necklace. Looking pretty slick, all the chicks want to get it because I wear ergonomic pet on my wrist. Yeah, that's right, I said on my wrist. I'm just looking for a mouse to click. Type mad fast like spirit fingers. Carpal tunnel never gonna bite my wrist. Oh, that's the carpal tunnel, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. So oh, good. Oh my God. Listen, uh, this guy is the man. Uh, I know you have the August thing that you're you're shooting for your special. I'm shooting my next special in That's August. That's awesome. Good in for Hollywood. You. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Can people people go to that? I always yeah, wonder yeah. when they're filming. Can you people go to that? Yes. Yeah. It's only oh, a two-hour drive. I mean, four if you consider the traffic. But yeah. <laughs> it's worth it. It's gonna be on a Sunday, so less chance well, yeah. of traffic. I, I yeah. may have to. Yeah. I may have to look into that. But uh, this weekend you'll get a little factor. preview. Yes. I won't be able to do the the multimedia stuff that I do in my special. Yeah. Because they I'm doing this at this venue because they've got like 11 LED video monitors. Oh, wow. Cool. So for my special, I do all multimedia, all the songs that I perform are going to have visuals so behind it. Oh, that's cool. But this weekend at the Laugh yeah, Factory, awesome. you're going to see a preview of, of the, uh, it's almost like uh, Eric Schwartz Unplugged. It's cool. going to be this. I, yeah. I will be doing musical performances. Yeah. I'll be performing the San Diego song. It's the acoustic. Supply song. It's, yes. uh, <laughs> it's uh, live at the Laugh Factory June 24th and 25th, which yeah. is mm -hmm. tomorrow yes. and Saturday. Um, right? This guy's hilarious. And I you know what today, know. today what is, and the reason that you should uh, you come to the show, if there's any reason, yeah. it's my mom's birthday today, oh guys. My God. I love you, Mom. Happy birthday, Happy Mom. birthday. She's still in San Diego. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she is today. No, she's, uh, they live in Mexico, in um, San Diego de Allende. And so they're visiting. Oh, yeah. there you they're go. They're going to go see you? Okay. So uh, Eric Schwartz, we thank you. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. Congratulations. Continued yes. success. Thank you, guys. Uh, dude's hilarious. Yes. See, I, I laugh. I, I, I love this guy. Okay.